Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today we are heading off on a trip in the motorhome. We're going up to Keswick. I know we haven't filmed any uh, trips or tours for a while. We have been on them and um, if you follow us on Facebook you'll see where we've been and places we've recommended. So we are filming and as I say heading to Keswick which is the Lake District. It's an area I do know quite well. We're going to be stopping at the Camping and Caravanning Club site. Um, it's literally just on the outskirts of Keswick. It's literally minutes of walk uh, into the town itself. Keswick is on Derwent Water. There's also another club site, which is Derwent Water Club site, which is literally next door. Um, so you've got two sites to choose from. The Keswick one, it's open all year. We've got a hard standing pitch with electric. I booked this months ago because it's really difficult to get into the um, Lake District club site. So I have booked this quite a long time ago. The plan, the plan is to drive up there. We're currently in Lincoln. We've been doing some um, filming of a Burstner Elegance motorhome here. So we're, we're driving from Lincoln to Keswick and um, the plan is to arrive about one o'clock, get set up and then have a walk into Keswick. There's loads of shops there to see. Plenty, plenty of places to eat. That's a big thing. I'll definitely be eating some fish and chips. Um, and there's also the boat trip. I'm hoping to do the boat trip tomorrow. So if I do, obviously you can see what that's like. Okay, Jules is with me as well. He's currently in the motorhome. We're about to set off. So I will see you when we arrive at the Keswick site. So we've arrived at Keswick Camping and Caravanning Club site. It took us about three and a half hours from Lincoln. We did the A1 and then across on the A66 and arrived here. So it was a steady run, no problems. We've arrived just before one o'clock. So we are sat in the queue to go in. Um, and yeah, we'll go hopefully find a half decent pitch. And then the plan is to uh, trot into Keswick and get some supplies because I'm running low. Um, I'm presuming there's going to be a motorhome service point here. So once we get through the barrier, I'll jump out, uh, get some water, show you the site a bit and we'll go from there. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, so we've come through and we're on pitch 17 in what they've said was the quieter area, which is um, this area here. So as you come in, this is to the right hand side. Um, our pitch is down there and there's an exit down there as well. I will show you the other side of the site once we get out and about. What we've done is we've come to the motorhome service point that's also here. So we've just pulled in here um, and Jules is just obviously filling us up with some water. So you will know, need your own hose pipe, but there is a, well, what I call a nipple on the tap, but you'll need your own, your own um, hose. So Jules is going to fill that up. Um, but yeah, so the site's beautiful. In fact, I don't know whether I can do much justice to it right now, but if you can see just up here, these are actually sort of all the, the little peaks and hills that are surrounding it. Um, so it's, um, the scenery is obviously pretty spectacular. It's only a couple of minutes walk into town, I think. So we'll head back. We'll go to Booth's, the supermarket. Um, it looks a pretty good size. Booth's is like the main supermarket in the Lake District in Cumbria. So we'll go there, get some bits, and we will have a walk around Keswick itself as well and have a look at some of those shops. So next, um, our next port call is our pitch, and we'll get our electric on, get set up, and then we'll have a trot out. So this is our pitch, it's number 17, and it's in the sort of quieter area. Um, we're just going to head off uh, into Keswick, but I just thought I'd just show you the view from the pitch, which is pretty amazing, really. I think, hopefully, the camera will do it justice, but... You can see sort of the scenery around us, which is um, is really nice, uh, really nice outlook. There is a river, I think, just over that side, and Derwent Water itself is, if I come down here, is actually over there. And we've come in from the reception, which is down there, and then we've turned in here. The rest of the site is actually just over there. So what I'll do 
is um, probably tomorrow. I'll venture into that half and show you that half. But for today, this is where we are. We've arrived and we're going to venture into Keswick next. So we're heading now into Keswick and the booths is literally just here. Um, so you'll, you'll walk to that in a couple of minutes. The parking, if you're going to park in there in your motorhome, um, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't look overly accessible because it's quite a busy car park. So just have to consider that one. Where we're going into town is from Booths. We're literally going to the end of this road line and we're going to turn right and that's going to take us sort of down the main high street um, of Keswick. So we're going to head there and do a right hand turn. Okay, so in Keswick there's about, I think there's three chip shops and that one behind me there, the Kingfisher, that one's meant to be really good so I don't know because I haven't tried it but that is the one I'm going to try if I do decide to get fish and chips so Kingfisher is one of the ones that gets good reviews so I'm going to give that one a go there's a lot of walking shops um, in Keswick we've got Millet's, there's Black's <laughs> if I take my eye off the ball I suddenly lose Jules so I'll have to follow him in and go and retrieve him but yeah so we'll carry on down the high street right I got Jules out of that shop and uh, we didn't spend any money so we did all right I think tomorrow could be a different story so I've continued on and then we get into like this pedestrian zone as you can see and there are so many shops here I'll just give you a look around so you can obviously see it without me stood there in front of it but the shops go all the way up there's all sorts of different types of shop there's pubs restaurants so this is sort of the main hub of Keswick Centre and it goes obviously off into the distance where we can see so I'm going to continue having a wander up here but this is sort of the main part if you're coming to Durban Water or Keswick site and uh, you're looking for the excitement so we had a pit stop at the Golden Lion behind me um, not bad we walked into the Weatherspoons I know you'll shake your head at me and say why did I go there but we went in there um, and it was um, we left I'll just leave it at that we just left so we've come here we've just had um, what did you have Jules steak and cheese steak and cheese cheer batter some chips and some onion rings and a hot chocolate and a latte so we're well fed now we're going to wander back down to booths get some bits and then make our way back to the motor home morning so after we went into town we walked back down to the site via the supermarket got some bits and we had a quiet night and the pitch it was really quiet down there it was really dark had a really good night's sleep woken up this morning a beautiful morning um, it's about two degrees celsius and this morning i'm just going to show you the other side of the um, site the lake that's here at the site and then um, we'll go to where you can get the boat if you want to do the boat trip and i'll talk about that in a bit so my pitch is down there that's where I've walked up from and then the direction we're going to head in is this direction Jules is already down there when I arrived yesterday that's where I actually drove in so that's where we came in and this is the other side of the site so as you can see you know it's a really good sized site plenty of hard standing pitches um, and absolutely stunning that's the sort of reception cabin there um, and then I'll just pop us around here the lake is here so from the site you can you can you know literally get to the water's edge there's a number of geese as well uh, obviously making the most of it so let me just pop over the the ramp so yeah that there we'll get a bit nearer in a second but that there is the water and then the site just pans all the way around here and these sort of hills here that you can see it's just absolutely beautiful especially on a clear day like today so let's have a, a trot over to the water so yeah so this is the Keswick site next to us is Derwent Water Camping and Caravanning Club site I haven't been onto it so I don't know what that site's like um, obviously you can look on the website I'll put a link in the description to the Camping and Caravanning Club and then you can have a look at that site yourself um, as well so I'll turn around so here we go so if you're scared of birds then you might just want to stay away from those but uh, the geese are out and this is absolutely beautiful so you can literally just walk down this path a solid path so you don't have to get mucky and you're on Derwent water 
So the Lake District, there's a number of lakes. I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of Windermere. That's um, one of the most well-known ones. And the Camping Garavanning Club, um, they do actually have a club site at Bowness on Windermere. Now, Bowness is another really nice town. Um, so have a look at that one as well. So Bowness on Windermere, which is on Windermere, really good site. Um, and then and then this one at Keswick. So this is Derwent Water. We're going to walk um, out of the site and head off over in that direction because you can get a boat trip that I'm going to show you um, around Derwent Water. And I'll explain that, a little bit more about that um, once we walk to there. I think that's maybe a 10 minute walk from here, but I'll let you know through a park. So there we go. So that is uh, Derwent Water itself right here. I'm just going to take some photos next and then we'll make our way to where you can get on the uh, boat at the Keswick launch. So we've come out of the Keswick site and we've made a right turn towards the Derwent Water Camping and Caravanning Club site. So it's probably just taking us about a few minutes to walk here and this is the entrance uh, into the Derwent Water site. I'll just move back before I get knocked over. But um, that there there is the entrance into the um, Derwent Water site. They've got some of the um, the go camps, the ready camps, which are just there. And then there's the site itself. So that's another option, as I say. We're going to carry on walking this way down the track and hopefully find our way um, down to the Keswick uh, launch to get the boat. So the boat goes all around the lake. Um, it takes about 50 minutes to do a round trip and there's seven places where you can get off if you want to get off it. So that's a, probably a good option if you want sort of a bit of a trip around the, the lake. And price-wise, it's £13.50 for an adult. I'm not sure on child prices, um, but I don't think that's too bad really. So we'll put her on and I'll see you down at the boat launch. So just where we were, and I said we carry on, you want to come through this gate here, just behind me. Um, you can see there, if you go through this gate and then there's a path here. There is a little sign that says lake 500 metres, so do look out for that. You'll know you've got the right gate. But yeah, basically, um, this is the path that's going to take us down to the, back down to Derwent Water Lake, where you'll be able to get the boat. I don't know whether we're going on the boat or not. I want to go on it, but I'm not sure if we are. I think this time of year, the sailings start at 10.30 in the morning and there's um, one on the hour, as far as I know. On the boat, you can jump on and jump off. So for seven places where it stops, you can um, get off um, and have a little potter about and then catch the next boat. So you just have to be mindful though, that if they're sailing once an hour, you might have a, um, a little bit of a wait but this this is the um the path down to where we're heading jules is our trail leader for today and uh we'll we'll carry on right i'll see you down at the water so we're nearly at the end of the uh, path but i just wanted to stop here um to just to sort of show you how how spectacular it is the scenery in keswick i know not everyone likes scenery and, it, and I'm not overly excited about a lot of things, but it is pretty stunning. And if I carry on round, you'll see obviously that we've reached uh, Derwent Water again. And you can see there again, just how beautiful it is. You can get down to the water's edge where those people are. And the jetty for the Keswick boat launch is literally just over there. I know the sun's shining, so we can't see it very well. So we're just going to finish off walking the path that direction. And then basically that over there, is where you'll get the boat. So I'd say to walk from site to here, um, it's maybe 10 minutes, but it's a really nice walk through this massive field. Um, and then you, you can board the boat there. And as I say, jump on, on and off. So we'll go a proper look, look at the launch place. So at least we can see it if you're wanting to do the boat trip. Also, I'll just quickly add, I don't know what this footage looks like, but I don't oh, think sorry, Jules. that uh, this uh, this camera will do the the actual foot the, no, the scenery justice. justice. No, it's it absolutely is. stunning. And even Jules has stopped to comment on it. That's yeah. how amazing it is. The man of very few words has spoken. <laughs> it's beautiful, absolutely. So beautiful. yeah, thank you, Jules. So yeah, it is. It's absolutely stunning. 
Right, we shall just carry on. We're going to turn, as I say, down to the jetty, um, but there is a road that we're going to reach as far as I know, and you can take that, if you then walk back up that way, the road will take you um, back up and into the Keswick itself, which is where we'll be heading uh, from here. Because we had a really good day down there yesterday. Um, there was certainly loads of shops and um, plenty of places to eat and stuff. And we do like food. So yeah, we're going to probably spend a bit more time. Ah, there we are, I'm in the shade of it now. A bit more time in um, Keswick today. I'll just um, show you a different angle. So without the sun sort of on us, you can just sort of see that there. So yeah, Lake District, and it's not raining. This is the wettest place in the world. It's like a rainforest. You see that dog then? That was like a little bullet. Um, and it's not raining, which makes such a change. Um, yeah, so it's, it's brilliant. Right, onwards. So the boat is literally just arriving over there. Hopefully you can see that. If not, you just have to take my word for it, that's a boat. So yeah, that's the boat. Um, I think most of it's fairly open. There is um, like a roof on a bit of it, but otherwise it's fairly open. So you'll have to wrap up warm for that one. Right, we'll carry on this way. Right, so we've made it down and I've been in the ticket office. You can book online. Um, I've um, just run in and I've got two tickets. So as I say, it's 13.50 each for adults. So being tight Yorkshire folk, I've actually spent some money, believe it or not. So we're going on the boat. This is where you board over there. And there's uh, lots of wildlife. You can take dogs on the boat as well. I can see plenty of dogs. Uh, children, obviously welcome, and, uh, and adults. So we're going to get on. I will show you some footage when we're on the boat of the scenery as we go round. I won't bore you to death with that, um, but um, we'll get, show you some of the scenery so you can see it if you're wanting to do the boat trip. So there we go, just some proof that I have spent some money. Thanks for going on the boat with me, Jules. Bless him. He's in my good books. Right, I'll see you in a bit. So there we go, we've just got off the boat after having our one hour trip around and that was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? We really enjoyed that. Um, definitely worth doing. Um, we didn't get off, people did. And there's obviously different bits around the lake that you can go see. So what we're going to do now is um, head up back into Keswick, um, get something to eat and a drink and then make our way back to site. So we'll leave you there for now. I won't drag you around the shops again in Keswick. Um, so we'll leave you for now and I'll see you back on site in a bit. And we're back on site after a really good trot around Keswick. Uh, we bought 
some woolly gloves, a woolly hat, and then I found a cake shop, you'll be surprised to know. Oh, and we stopped for a hot chocolate and a coffee as well. I'll show you my cakes. I just couldn't help myself. So I found a cake shop and I got like a coffee thing, um, a caramel Danish and a vanilla slice. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's like a double layer one. So I'm going to put those in the fridge because I've literally just walked in the door. Right, that is it for our Keswick vlog. Um, as I say, we've stopped at the Camping and Caravanning Club uh, Keswick site, which is on Derwent Water. They have got a site next door, the Derwent Water site. And funnily enough, when I was on the boat, I was talking to a couple and they were staying on that site and they loved that one and they've stayed on both. So either sounds just as good as the other. So I definitely recommend this. We've really enjoyed our stay here. We've had a brilliant few nights. We would definitely come back and we will because it's only like two, maybe two hours from home at the most. We'll definitely be coming back. Absolutely recommend the boat trip. There's so much more to do here, but we just haven't got time to do everything and show you it. But hopefully it's given you a bit of an idea about where you might want to go. So put it on your list. Um, yeah, definitely. Keswick, definitely. Right, I'd just like to say thank you to Cara Motorhomes for the ongoing loan of this motorhome, which means we can get out and do this sort of content. Um, and thank you to the Camping Caravanning Club who have let me wander around and film on their site. I do appreciate that. There we go. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.